I wanted us to think today a bit more on a high level about what does water mean to us um, and why has it become so important to think about water as a commodity almost, as something that is you know, liquid gold as such. We've gone through a bit of a time, uh, especially in the Western Cape, we've experienced real drought and water restrictions and people who live in, in the Cape have experienced that. And it makes you think about the importance of water. And especially in industry, we are very big users of water. And it, it makes you think that you need to start thinking about your role as a water user. and how you need to think about your role, especially in industry as a water user, um, and think about it more as a partnership rather than uh, kind of a use and abuse relationship. And that's something that we at Multitech are very big on, on talking to people about. How can you reuse water? How can you think holistically about your water use? Um, and that's something that I'll, I'll get into a little bit today. So one of the big things that's also driven water use and reuse in, in South Africa is the skyrocketing cost of water, especially in the Western Cape. Um, and when I did this presentation, uh, when I put it together about a, two weeks or three weeks ago, I still thought the most expensive price that I'd heard was 26 rand a cube. And then just this very morning, someone told me that they're paying 50 rand a cube. And that's an industrial water user. So you can imagine um, what a big business risk that poses to operations if you are looking at 50 rand, 26 rand, 30 rand a cube um, for water. Um, and we've, what we've seen so far is that if you really look at reusing and retreating your water, you can, you can get to as, as low as half of what you are paying for, for water externally. And that's why we encourage industry and, 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 and water users in general to think about reusing and to think about how to reuse um, to a fit for purpose kind of, kind of water. And what we found is that if you do that, you can as much as half like I said, your, your water um, cost and significantly reduce the risk that, that you have by being exposed to these um, ever-changing costs of water. So how do we do that? Um, here at Multitech, we are the distributors for a, a very novel uh, iron exchange technology from a company called Cleantech, which is an Australian company. And we specifically focus on treating difficult waters. So the technology is very focused on difficult to treat waters. So we're talking about scrubber blowdown, um, acid mine drainage, cooling tower blowdown, uh, reuse of brines, that type of thing. And like I said, I'm not going to go too technical. Um, but basically the technology is on, based on the foundations of iron exchange and we essentially have two main principles that make it different from conventional iron exchange. The first thing is the fact that we move the resin around and then secondly uh, the resin is moved counter current to the flow of the solution. So what you see over here is a flow sheet um, of, a, of a basic process and, and you can see there I can't really show that, um, but you can see the, the yellow line is the movement of the resin and then the, the blue is the flow of the solution. And we essentially achieve a much better resin efficiency. You are, it's a very robust technology in terms of uh, exposure to scaling elements. Uh, we can treat quite a high suspended solids load. So in that sense, it's really well suited to these difficult waters. And so we're really opening up the opportunity to industry to look at treating, retreating their water and, and um, reducing their exposure to, to the external water use. The other thing that this technology does is treats water, these difficult waters, at quite high recoveries, which is another thing that is quite important in water scarcity because obviously the, the higher your recovery is, the more sustainable your treatment process is. So just looking at an example um, is acid mine drainage. So quite a topical thing in South Africa. And this, this is where really where the technology has a fantastic fit. Um, what we would do is you would 
have a combination of uh, HDS, which is a high density sludge treatment process, so your typical lime precipitation process, combine it with our dual stage technology, which we call DSLX. And what we're able to do is essentially close the loop. So we are able to produce a brine or a waste that is a 2% precipitated gypsum. And this feeds back to the HDS system, as you can see with that closed loop there. So what we're able to do is treat this water at a very high recovery, essentially 99%, as you can see. And your only waste is really the gypsum slurry. So that's a good example of what I like to call squeezing the last drop. So you are treating at a very high recovery and you can essentially get to potable quality with this treatment process. Then finally, uh, something else that we focus on quite a bit and which again addresses this, um, how can you be sustainable in water treatment? How can you think about water a little bit differently than just treating the water? And that is looking at recovering valuables from the water. So the technology specifically can treat and focus on specific metals. So in the mining industry, you might sometimes find that water that you want to treat might have some valuable metals in it. Um, and that's where we really focus. You take some metals out, you recover them, and that can be quite valuable. So value creation out of water treatment is another thing that we focus on quite a bit with this technology. So finally, just to reiterate, recap uh, what we spoke about in terms of this technology, very high water recovery, uh, which, is, which again contributes to that sustainability. Um, I didn't mention this in detail, but we do uh, have the simultaneous removal of suspended solids, so can ab able to um, really treat these, these difficult waters that are scaling, fouling, suspended solids element in it. Um, optimized resin inventory, so smaller footprint. Uh, something else, adjust, adjust to changing feed conditions, um, which addresses, again, being able to, to produce fit-for-purpose water. And then targeting selected uh, elements for recovery, which addresses that value, value adding of water treatment. Thank you.